Being the fairy princess, seven arrogant princes are turned into dwarves and only true love's kiss can save them from this curse. Today we will recap the story of the 2019 movie, Red Shoes and the Seven Dwarfs. On Fairy Tale Island, catastrophes and accidents happen all the time. To solve the most diverse types of problems, the people usually call upon the fearless seven, the greatest superheroes in the whole kingdom. However, everything changes when this small group defeats the evil dragon and saves the princess. They think they have rescued a witch because of the woman's grotesque appearance. Thus, the princes attack her, and this mistake is very costly. That was not a witch, but the fairy princess. To teach them a lesson, the princess curses them, and since then, every time someone looks at the fearless seven, they turn into green dwarfs. The only way to break this curse is to earn a kiss from the most beautiful woman on Fairy Tale Island. But with this appearance, the mission will not be easy at all. Months later, Regina walks through her castle to the room where her magic tree lives. Instead of apples, that tree produces little red shoes, which are to fulfill the witch's greatest wish. Ever since she began to age, her greatest ambition has been to achieve beauty and eternal youth. However, although she has tried dozens of shoes, none of them have been helpful in fulfilling her goal. Furious, the woman throws the pair of shoes away and orders her servants to get rid of them. That night, Snow White breaks into the room looking for clues as to the whereabouts of her father. She is searching the room when she hears the door open. One of the wooden bears appears on a flying broom to check if the place is empty and finds the rope in the window. He realizes that it shouldn't be there, but decides to ignore the object. When the creature leaves, Snow White, who is hiding under the table, gets up and accidentally hits her head. Just then, a secret hiding place is revealed and in it is the diary of her father, the White King. In the book, the man reveals that he wishes the girl's mother could see the beautiful young woman she has become. After the queen's death, the White King married Regina, a beautiful woman who everyone said was a witch. However, with that beautiful appearance, he did not believe that she could be a sorceress until strange things began to appear. The first suspicious object was a shadowy mirror that grew like a tree. Suddenly, the people around the castle began to disappear, and then the king became suspicious of his wife. One night he saw, with his own eyes, Regina talking to a tree and became convinced that his beautiful wife was really a witch. Immediately, he sent Snow White away and went to confront the woman. That same day, the king was pursued by the cursed mirror, but had time to write one last note in his diary before he was captured. In it, the White King asks his daughter to find the seven fearless ones, for they will help her save the kingdom. After reading everything written in the book, Snow White spots the apple tree and walks towards it. When Regina enters the room, she finds a beautiful young girl wearing her little red shoes and orders her subordinates to capture the girl. However, Snow White takes a flying broom and manages to escape from the witch's clutches. Seconds later, the wishing tree begins to wither and dies soon after. Furious, Regina pays a visit to her magic mirror and asks who is the most beautiful woman in the whole kingdom. The mirror then replies that the most beautiful of all is the girl who wears the red shoes. The witch asks what that young woman's name is, but the mirror can't answer. So the woman orders the bears to do the dirty work and distribute wanted posters in every town in the kingdom. Regina states that she is feeling her power going away and her face is getting more and more wrinkled. So the mirror suggests that she ask for help from someone who also has something to gain by finding the young woman and advises the woman to pay a visit to Prince Average. Meanwhile, the fearless seven walk through the forest as they think up a new plan to find the most beautiful princess on Fairy Tale Island. Just then, they spot a girl flying and she ends up falling right next to their house, which is a few meters ahead. When they get there, they find a trail of destruction on the ground and spot a magic broom. In that instant, the superheroes become convinced that they are dealing with a witch and prepare for battle. However, when they open the door to the house, the little green dwarfs are surprised to find the most beautiful young woman they have. Dwarves reveal that they flexion, and Snow White can hardly recognize herself in her new look. When the little green people ask her name, the young woman introduces herself as Princess Red Shoe. Then the dwarves introduce them to Day Party. When he discovers that they have all made up excuses not to attend, the young man despairs, for he does not understand why he is so unpopular. Then Regina enters his chamber and the security guards try to throw her out. However, the woman uses her powers to evade the guards and the prince realizes that she is a witch. Regina says that Average would be much more popular. As a reward for the indication, the witch will get her shoes back. The king will not recognize her with that new appearance. In that instant, she tries to remove her shoes, but finds it difficult to get them off her feet. Relieved, she lies down on the bed. However, she soon needs to put them back on, because Jack appears at her door to invite her to have her skin moisturized. 
The young woman claims to be very tired and says she is going to sleep. When she looks out the window, she sees someone outside and believes that man to be her father. Meanwhile, Merlin is in the library. The curse causes him and his colleagues to turn into dwarves only when there is someone looking at them. 